health technology continues to develop, and EMC Hospital Tongrang is committed to continuously improving the quality of patient care and continues to follow the development of health services to create optimal service to patients. First in Asia-Pacific, EMC Tongrang Spine Center has successfully used augmented reality technology in spinal surgery. The technology we call Eagle Eye. Spine Center EMC Hospital Tangerang is the committed to always providing the best services. One of them is by presenting the innovation of augmented reality technology in spinal surgery, which we call Eagle Eye. Spine Center EMC Tangerang Hospital is the first in Asia Pacific to use this technology and has successfully treated many patients. There is no doubt, the combination of experienced expert doctors and advanced technology will provide the best services. Basically, augmented reality is combination between uh, patient imaging, let's say CT scan or MRI or even ultrasound, and then the patient itself, both of them are combined and uploaded into some device. This is a Pfizer Microsoft device, we call it HoloLens 2. And all of the patient data is uploaded into my Google Lens here. And before starting the surgery, I will do surgical planning. And after I, my surgical planning is complete, I will just simply put it on, like this one. And then I, I can see the image of the patient without opening the patient, without big incision. Surgery in spine is basically divided into two big uh, topics. One is the compression only without using any implants. And the second one is using implants. The augmented reality navigation system is helping us to put the implants in a proper position without big incision. If you imagine there is a soft tissue here, big muscle here, you cannot see the bone inside, right? But by using this whole lens, you can see directly the bone inside the patient. So you can accurately place your pedicle screws with a precision up to 99% because the issue when we are using an implant, of course, we have to put the screws in the most precise position unless you could uh, damage the nerve or soft tissue around them and that will lead a complication for the patient. Another advantage of using the augmented reality is for the surgeon itself. If you want to do the operation without opening the skin, you can do it by using a fluoroscope. Let's say an x-ray machine inside the OT, like a CM we call it. You can see inside the bone using the x-ray, but for the surgeon itself, the radiation exposure is very high and it, it will lead a lot of complications such as cancer for the surgeon itself and also the patient. By using Pfizer, augmented reality, we can reduce the radiation exposure up to uh, minimum 5%. So we don't need a lot of radiation exposure during the, our spine surgery. Another advantage of using this Pfizer augmented reality is, besides me, my assistant can also use this. So I have four of these devices inside my OT, so everyone can use it. So the advantage is the, my assistants can help me assist whether my screw insertion is accurate or not. So we can double check it, triple check it in order to increase patient safety. Patient safety is my number one priority. Up until now, the FDA approved for Pfizer is only the pedicle screw instrumentation in thoracal and lumbar area. But this is the advantage of uh, software technology. We can easily upgrade the system, we can easily 
uh, follow the development of the technical issue for the spine surgery. Maybe now it's only for pedicle screw instrumentation, but in the near future, in my opinion, it can be performed for cancer treatment. Using the augmented reality, we can know exactly the border of the cancer itself. And then, aside from the spine field, augmented reality can also be used in the orthopedic field. Let's say if we want to do correction osteotomy, we can easily know where to cut using the augmented reality. Or even in the vascular surgery, you can see easily the vascular system inside the patient body. Or even the uh, digestive and oncologic department. So in my opinion, augmented reality navigation system will be the future of every surgery. Application of Augmented Reality Technology in Spine Surgery at Spine Center Yemsi Hospital Tongarang is a combination of experienced expert doctors with advances or innovations in medical device technology that will provide new experiences and optimal service quality for patients. Being proud of Indonesia for being the first country in the Asia-Pacific to perform spinal surgery with augmented reality. For information, you can contact ACA at 0818081808812. EMC Tangerang Spine Center has successfully performed more than 2,500 surgeries and more than 35,000 patients in the polyclinic. Spine Center, Yimsi Tongring, 0818081808.